Can I show you Jesus yes. preaching about tithing? Zote. Mimi hata niliacha kutaithi. Na ndakwambia kwa nini? The battle of a tithing is hotter than ever. And it is sparking some serious debate. Pastor John C. W. is not having any of the critics who say tithing is an Old Testament thing. He is fired up quoting Bible verses where Jesus himself teaches on tithing and warning those who have taken different direction with their giving. His message, tithing is non-negotiable and anyone who thinks otherwise is straying from the truth. One of the best things a preacher can do is to be free from the people you preach to. Spiritually, mentally, financially. Let me put that with a capital letter. Financially. So I went out in search for doing business. Started doing business like crazy. Whether you tithe or you don't tithe, the gospel will be preached. But we can't reduce a service to teaching you tithing. To reduce a service, we're now telling you, tithing is of God. Eh? I saw a preacher coming and saying, tithing is Old Testament. Oh, but but blessing that God gave Abraham is new. You like the blessing because it has everything to do with receiving, but you don't like the tithing because it has everything to do with giving. I found a scripture where Jesus taught tithing. Can I show you Jesus? Okay. Can I show you? Oh, I'm taking here. Watch and watch. Mutainuliwa. Mutasonga. Mutakonde. Mutanoneshwa. Can I show you Jesus preaching about tithing? Oh, you are sure? So there are, there are some time Jesus came in Matthew and he wanted to balance the issue of tithing. He says, woe unto you, you people. Because you, it, can you read there? Let me show you the teaching of Jesus on tithing. Do you want to see? Can we settle this matter once and for all? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you pay tithe of mint and Keep going. This is the words of Jesus. And come in and have neglected weightier matters of the law. Justice, mercy, and faith. You know, in the heavenly realm, there is what you call weightier things. And this is why not all Christians are the same. Where's in the apple? There is a person if they pray for you, it will work. And there is a person if they pray for you, it will not work. Yet they are all Christians. Because the fervent prayers of a righteous, the standing ovation there is righteous man. What does it do? It availeth much. So you don't just go to any preacher just because you had prophet is coming to town, uko uko, and you sit where the camera will see you and say, Ma'am, Riniana, new year, new year. You forward the video to your part to say, Do you mean me? Because you just went for clout. So the heavens have weightier matters. And one of them is called what? Justice is very weighty. So when a nation ignores justice, what you have rejected is the weight of God. When you fight justice, when you are corrupt, God will descend on, that's a kingdom issue. It's not a political issue. When you hear people crying in a nation, Jehovah will eventually hear and come down to inspect himself. Justice is a kingdom language. Number two, mercy. Show mercy. Yes, they deserve the answer. But you show mercy. I won't do it because you are my brother. Some of you, Mukokwa Koti, and the person you're in court with took some 20,000. You can't allow them to be. Christians, taking Christians to court, you can't allow them to be. You don't have mercy. That's why your day will come. The third one is what? Faith. Jesus now says, this you ought to have done. Stop. What is this? Let me show you what is tithing. What is this you ought to have done? What is this? Say it. Without leaving others undone. The, what you should have done is tithing, but at the same time you don't ignore justice, you don't ignore mercy and you don't ignore so there are christians here that tight but they are not just you go and sleep with a man he gives you fifty thousand, and then you bring five thousand because your pastor is broke not all money is god's money preacher hear me 
Not all God's, all money is God's money. So what have you done? If you allow the girl to tie that money, what have you told the girl? You are allowed to go and do it again. So you have created, you know how many preachers have created prostitutes? Has it occurred to your mind? But because they are around, they will not let you be. You want a pastor's house at all cost. This you should have done without leaving the others undone. You should tithe, but your tithe is not standing on itself. Tithe that is mature, it stands on tithe, justice, mercy, and... But if you tithe and there is no justice, your tithe means nothing. You're not getting it. This you should have done. This is the teaching of tithing. I will never teach it again. Watch any you taught to Kwakanisa. Some topics is because you don't love God. How do you love God and you don't want to give? I don't understand it. You abuse us as preachers. Do you know what it takes to transform one soul? I'm not as old as her. I've been preaching for at least 16 years. Do you know what it takes? There are so many men that came here to follow me. Others are in business. Some of them came with nothing. Do you know what it takes to have a man transform? And when we just have something as little as a, as a trosa, munaanza, wakora, and the people that talk give nothing. You have nothing. You have not even helped your own mother. Because our generation, if you just have TikTok, you are a leader. Women that became nothing. How do you go naked and post a picture? Are you not afraid five years later your son will last with your picture? On the flip side, Pastor Timwangi has totally different perspective. He is outgrown tithing and gives more than the traditional 10%. He believes that tithing is for those who are still learning how to give. And sometimes those people complain about it. Pastor T emphasizes that Christians should give joyfully, without complaints, and go above and behold the tithe. So, so ukianza kujua mtu ame kudeliver kutoka hizo vitu zote. Mimi hata niliacha kutaifu. Na ndakwambia kwa nini? Do you want to know why Pastor T does not give tithe? Then this video is for you. Let's start and listen what he is about to say. Don't think so. And in fact, let me tell you, giving does not guarantee you heaven. Giving is a principle of your welfare. Kuna watu wa tithe our and they will make it heaven. Going to heaven is not pegged by our giving. But now, when you begin to understand the economy of love, any time you love somebody, you don't share away from spending. This is the mystery. When you love someone and you honor that person, it is amazing that there are people who feel privileged to give gifts to, a, to the president, yet he can afford Saip kuna watu kuna time nilikuwa naona prezo akiwajiandai unaona mzee anataka kabisa achukua hii picha ime mcost jo anajaribu kumonesha na kuona na ku respect na pia we ni mzee ni 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 you know you, you are sovereign you are powerful and i honor you so that's why biblical giving is 100% out of revelation and maybe tunaanza hata na hiyo tithe the first tither god could demand god could demand the first tithe this is what happened. It is in the book of Genesis. And this is the genesis of Titan. Okay, and the, the nations of what they used to call the Near Far East nation, the Mesopotamia culture. That is back in the days. Elikwanga, small nations used to give a tenth of their harvest to big nations for protection and security. So a good example, Kenya and Zamoa, it in a Amero. So to collect, to napati Amero 10%. Then any time there is an attack over Kenya, it's not the work of Kenya to fight. America will defend us and protect us because we have acknowledged the authority of America over our lives. That was the culture of the day. Now, Abraham is coming from war. And kwa hiyo ameenda kurescue one cousin and it a lot. So ameenda kurescue lot, Naka defeat all the kings. It was a battle of around nine kings. 
So ni kumaanisha kwa territory ya Abraham hakukuwa na king angepatia title. Jua mwashinda wote. So there is no king who could give Abraham protection. But in that journey he meets the king of Salem. And then the king of Salem gave him wine and bread. And after receiving wine and bread, akampatia a tenth. The king of Salem never requested for the tenth. But the king of Salem gave him wine and bread. And that king is an everlasting king, of course, that's Jesus. So ideally, Likua, Ali understand the culture of tithing. So Abraham met a king higher than the kings of Israel. Now bread in a represent the word of God. Wine in a represent the Holy Spirit. So where you receive bread and wine, you are nourished spiritually. That's where you take your tithe. So it was out of number one, the revelation, not obligation. This is a sovereign king. This is a majestic king. This is a great king. This is a king that has given me victory. So let me offer a tent as a sign of worship. But the revelation was from today, my protection will come from this king. That's why Sasa later in Malachi, Anakujana Sema, ni test na easy vitu. Mone kama stafungwa the windows of heaven. Na kama sita protect your harvest from the devourer. Kwa sababu the pattern was, you tithe to a bigger king and that superior sovereign king, anytime your attack will come. So the work of rebuking the devourer was the work of the superior king. So you in Ali Sasa, Sasa ukichukua tithe, upeleke children's home. Ni kumanisha ume bypass the system of divine protection. Na vitumbili u happen, Bible nasema, I will open the windows of heaven. The first time the windows of heaven zilifunguliwa ni wakati wa floods. Kwa sababu ukisoma Genesis 6, Bible nasema, uh, God only opened the vaults na open the windows of heaven. The second time tunasikia kusu the windows of heaven ni wakati kulikuwa na drought, a famine in Samaria in 2 Kings chapter number 6 and 7. To a point what walikuwa na kula the dropping of chicken and heads of donkeys. It was so severe mbaka wa mother walikuwa na kula watu wao. Na Elisha akasema kesho economy ita shift. One handler akasema hata windows of heaven zifunguliwe it cannot shift. So what do the windows of heaven represent? They represent supernatural supply. So tithing is a biblical principle. You apply it, you get the blessings and the benefits. You refuse to apply it, you'll still go to heaven, but your welfare in the economy of Christian dom will be affected. Maze kuna time ninge kwa saa tu kukua faithful na tithe. Unastukia kitu imeenda. Kuna time nilinunuanga simu na doza tithe. Nikashikuwa na kanjo. Nanguwana na kupreach lanchawa. Nikashikuwa na kanjo. Nikapigo faini ya dautano. Iyo simu mpia nikienda kutoa gari kwa kanjo. Pale tu jiamu. Ika bebwa. Nikapige sabu tadadana. Nikaona ile tithe sikuwa nimelipa. Iko wadhi yo simu. Na iko wadhi yo nini. Deflani nimetoka kesha. Nimekandai hapo nje. Spare wili katolewa. Kwa sababu tu cost ya dwenye nilitumia. So nikaanza kuona literally if I'm not faithful na God ku teach differently. Lecture zangu zinaweza kosa kwa zako. And when when I activated the system of tithing, nika discover kuna levels za tax as it come cuz nime activate a principle of divine protection. Nimetoka kesha ku pray but unaona kitu inafaa ku shield wealthy yangu ni tithe. Jo mzee manita rebuke divora. So prayer at that level haina capacity ya ile job tithe na kufanya. So wewe attacked. You know this is my father. Ni aje na ku attacked. Mm. Conviction tu ina come. Na kuna mzee tulia giungi naye cuz kuna wasema mimi ni tithe na wako church. So tukaji sana akanipiga ma scripture nini nikamwambia ni aje tuingie tu prayer. Tuulize God what is your will on tithe. Ju sio mimi niliandika bible na sio wewe. So atuwezi sema wewe uko correct na mimi ni na, and literally I took time and I told a few people you know what kuna new teaching may come about tithing in the old testament what to pray tujue kama tuna teach watu era ama ni, ni, ni story god kabisa ame nini ame ame authenticate na tukaingia prayer and the first answer was very simple every giving should be backed by love you know the core business giving your day lazima kwa from a cheerful and a loving heart we give because we love god 
we give because we love God. Kuna kuna madama li breaking alabasta ja kwa miguu za Yesu ili kwa worth one year salary Mary Magdalene. Kila mtu aka complain mpaka ma disciple akasema mazee unamwagaje mafuta kwa miguu ya Yesu? Hii pesa ingetumika kusaidia maskini. Yesu akawaangalia akawaambia niaje ile kitu ude manajua mjui. So it is revelation that made her break the alabaster jar. So you can't understand people commitment in giving until you understand the revelation that they have. Mm-hmm. So they say you always jua pali mtu God amemtoa. Na that's why wale watu tight ni ka cult. Always wa convince wameona ikifanya job. <laughs> so wanajua anga hii system si hadi story hii kitu iko. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second thing God akatuambia he attack it's not an attack on the giving it's an attack on the treasury of the church because when the church has no money vision is not a problem mtu alisemanga where there is no vision people perish but where there are no people the vision perishes so unakuta wasi wako na good ideas concepts that can change the nation but there are no resources so how do they implement that the other day the catholic church wali gather wakambia gabo acha nini na mashule zetu because they are trying to protect a heritage of vitu wamekuwa wakitich watu hii wana feel e curriculum kuna vitu inaleta so if churches are not empowered enough even to open schools and hospitals eh you kuna your self entitlement then there's a problem so god akasema this is an attack on the treasury and i looked at it um meeting ilifanywa hapa ya beni hill it costed uh, almost um uh, not it costed almost 1 million uh 1 million dollars to to get the kind of equipments to get the kind of stadium and all that that was supposed to be the budget but benihina alikuja na kuna vitu kadhaa alisema ni aje isi lazima now you see benihina alikuwa ready kulipa hiyo do cuz kwenye ametoka watu wanajua ku support mission you know guys will give and say go and preach but ilifika point ma bishop wa Kenya akasema for how long will people be coming to our land na doza hao wanatupea sisi tunampangia mkutano alafu wanaenda na blessing sisi tunacho na injili na wakasema hii time we want to pay the price now that's a meeting kuna mtu atazuja aseme hai hii doni aje unajua mkutano mmoja ya ODM ilikuwa ina costing 15 million and they used to have meetings daily during the campaign season no one complains watu walikuwa wanaenda serena wana buy one plate at a million to support a man to sit on a throne for five years but when it comes to vitu za kifalme there is a lot of riot a lot of complaint but there is no other way uh, waswata skiza gospel kama mtu ataenda nje and there is no other way money will never rain from heaven god has created a system so when the treasury is attacked Uh, the next thing tutakuwa the masses of politicians the next thing the church itakuwa ngena jengo na pesa tujui pali zilitoka mm-hmm. na ukiangalia direction vile imeenda that's where that's where the church na kanika imeenda so the second thing god akasema it's an attack on the treasury revivals are expensive uh, doing meetings I, i do high school missions uh to me, to me buy tents and all that whatever we bought costed us 60 million if i was to do a tent meeting one day in a high school it will not cost me less than 3 million na na yule kuhubiria vijana eh watu watapiga kelele twitter nini na happen my high school but nani anabonga nao so it's expensive to preach the gospel and one of the systems is the system of giving but people don't see it until society and the ku crumble not only is what is happening number three, eh um, god akasema giving is a product of teaching and revelation the moment we don't teach the bible the whole counsel of god and we focus on giving only there is more to god than offering so kuna watu waliamua monday to monday ni toa 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 na kings sita kata kuna makanisa za watu we won't run away from that kuna wasi wakiokota offering inaikango kwa boot wanahesabia bedroom they are there but i'll tell you the truth majority si za watu ziko na systems and all that So 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 kuna hizo debates that I think but I believe I think for me is in the Bible and it's one of the requirement for um raising resources for the work of God and for the welfare of the people and God blesses people so that out of their blessing they are able to uh, partner with his work. Uh, kuna kitu kuna thank you. Pastor John C W the stands firm in his position.
He says the church will continue its work even if people don't tithe. But tithing must be done after fulfilling all other laws. So, what's your take on this? Is tithing still a must or has it become outdated? Let's see which pastor's message you agree with. This is Stephen Jesenius.